It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Booster shots should only be administered to Western Visayans once the region achieves herd immunity against coronavirus disease, according to the Department of Health. Region 6 needs to first vaccinate 70% of its target population, according to Dr. Daphne Torima, DOH Region 6 spokesperson. Herd immunity, also known as population immunity, is the indirect protection from an infectious disease that happens when a population is immune either through vaccination or immunity developed through previous infection. A booster, meanwhile, is administered when the person has completed his or her vaccine series and protection against the virus has waned over time. Western Visayas has a population of around 7.9 million. DOH Master listed 5,579,388 target eligible population. As of October 23, the region completely inoculated 1,491,600 individuals or only 26.73% of the target population. Operations against the New People's Army would be intensified despite the observance of Fiesta Minatay, according to the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police. In fact, more soldiers were deployed to the 1st District of Iloilo to augment the police, said Army Major General Benedict Arevalo, commander of the 3rd Infantry Division. For his part, Police Brigadier General Rolando Miranda, Western Visayas Police Director, sees no reason to back down, especially following Sunday's explosion of two improvised explosive devices in Barangays Mayang and Hulason in Tubu. Ilo-ilo. Two policemen were injured. Members of the NPA's Southern Front Committee Panay were tagged as the culprits. The wounded cops, Police Corporal Janelle Simpas of the 1st Iloilo Provincial Mobile Force Company, and Patrolman Jesse Castamado are now safe and recovering at the Western Visayas Medical Center. The PNP will not cease to perform its mandate to maintain security and peace and order, Miranda said. The Department of Health is set to kick off pediatric vaccination against coronavirus disease in Iloilo City on October 29. The rollout will be at St. Paul's Hospital Iloilo in accordance with the Department of Health's recommendation that it should be hospital-based, said Mayor Jerry Pitrañas. City COVID team focal person Dr. Roland J. Fortuna said 250 slots for pre-registered minors from 12 to 17 years old were identified by the hospital. These are mostly children with comorbidities. Requirements to be presented at the vaccination site include birth certificate, identification card of the parent or guardian, and medical certificate from pediatrician or district medical doctor stating the child's comorbidity. The city will expand the inoculation for minors on November 2 to its mega vaccination sites that are in proximity of hospitals in case of any adverse reaction. Trenya said all mega vaccination centers will no longer require the pre registration of minors and will be open even for non residents but studying in Iloilo City. Parents only need to bring IDs and sign the consent form on site. And those are tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elijah Lasaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.paninews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.